Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another toy review video. Now, I know this one in particular has been a little late, but you know what they say, better late than ever. And this is actually a two for one. Because in addition to this figure, I also wound up getting the uh, the upgrade kit from Nanef. So before I go ahead and jump ahead, let me introduce you to Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Wheeljack. And as I mentioned before, ta-da! The Nanef Productions Wheeljack upgrade kit. All right. Now, as you can tell. Uh, his box comes with a very large open window which showcases the, the, the bot very, very nicely. Uh, you have the, the red lettering of Transformers up in the top right corner. You have the, the stamped Autobot symbol that says Authentic with the uh, label Takaratomi on the top on the bottom right, Hasbro. Then you have BOOM stamped on the bottom center. His Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy, and on the side of his window, you know, you have Wheeljack WFC. Is that 36 or 66? Let me see. Hang on. Oh, E6. Oh, sorry. And on the side, you have a really good illustration of Wheeljack and that looks awesome alright and on the other side you have the artwork for this particular uh, segment of the line and like I said before and I'll say it again this is some really great artwork I really wish Hasbro had allowed the uh, the printing of posters for this because I pretty much would have uh, collected those. And on the back of it are the are the uh, product shots shows him in both vehicle and robot mode in addition showing off the uh, the battle masters in this case the, the shield here um, not too bad but honestly I probably wouldn't get those it's I don't know I, it just doesn't do it for me but let's go ahead and move on I'm gonna go ahead and turn him around and we're gonna showcase the uh, the repo labels or I should say the repo labels but the add-on kit from non F which as you can tell has the uh, the shooter cannon the, the missile uh, various bits and pieces with his weapons and stuff like that so, without any further review, because this is going to be a two-parter in this case. Part one is going to be this figure. Part two is the add-on kit. So, let's go ahead and open them up. And to loosely quote Optobotamus, let's see how cool he really is. Alright folks, there he is out of his box and transformed in vehicle mode. Now normally this is a, a different take for me or take different path for me of reviewing this uh, figure. However I wanted to go ahead at the very least before I started filming I wanted to go ahead and at least give myself an opportunity to transform him so that way I don't have to be going back and forth between the instructions and the bot. So there he is transformed and he looks phenomenal. He's like very much like uh, his old, uh, you know, his old G1 uh, style, you know, race car. And, whew, wow, man. Uh, you know, basically, they're going back to basics with this. Uh, far cry from uh, the other wheel jacks, you know, from years, especially, you know, the one, uh, the one that was used for. Transformers Prime uh, because you know you have you have this one which is you know from Transformers Prime and for anyone who hasn't seen the series there's gonna be a spoiler alert 
Uh, this particular Royal Jack uh, was part of a combat unit known as the Wreckers, uh, which is basically a black ops type group. They are the ones that get down and dirty. As uh, Royal Jack and his buddy Bulkhead normally say, they don't call for backup, they call for cleanup. Uh, but again, that's a totally different take on a very classic character. They gave him a very familiar look. Uh, of course, I think, if memory serves me right, Toy Hacks does have an upgrade label for the Prime version, which I may wind up getting uh, within the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, in addition, I have seen reviews of a Toy Hacks set for Quill Jack as well, as well as the uh, uh, the upgrade kits for for Whale Jack, uh, for Earthrise Whale Jack, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out Wrecker Whale Jack out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and concentrate on what we were originally going to do. So over here, wow, well, over here we're going to have a let's focus here. Thank you. This is a very, very nicely molded uh, shoulder cannon. Uh, it's very classic uh, to his uh, to his G1 uh, style shoulder cannons. Of course, if I remember the toy version, that one was a uh, uh, he had two. That one had you know black cannons as well as gun as well as missiles. This one's a little bit different, but you know. Not too bad. I like the molded detail on here. The silver type uh, gunmetal gray on here. Very, very nice. Uh, you know, and of course he, you know, he's got the little peg that goes on his shoulder. He also has the peg in which he can hold it with, you know, like a, like a bazooka. All right. So, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to. To the actual figure. So here we have Will Jack, and like I said, he's got he's sporting some very very nice, um, you know, decals and whatnot. The paint applications are very nice. You know, like I said, very reminiscent of the OG one style. Uh, he's got the little three and a half millimeter peg port here. Uh, he also has these back here, which I did not flush this correctly. There we go, much better. Uh, now, in addition to the non-F um, add-on kit, there is another add-on kit which is basically made to fill in the gaps in his legs, but also gives you a couple of pegs here and here you know, where you well now after that we'll have like tail lights which is pretty cool it'll also replace this now this I don't know if I am going to replace when I do the upgrade kit but we will find out about that in a moment so in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and turn these the spoiler up a bit gonna go ahead and turn him around gonna go ahead and pull the arms off from the sides here and Come on, let's go here. <laughs> oh, and this thing is really tight in area, so I'm going to try and lift this up just a bit. There we go. Now, once we've done that, we're going to pull these arms down to the side here. We're going to twist the arms like so and turn the fist in. Boom. Now, for those that didn't see it the first time, we're going to turn this arm down, twist the arm out like so, and I'm having a little bit of problem, so I'm going to put some nail polish on here to tighten this up, and then turn the arms down like so. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and turn this where this little, his head is in a nice little hiding place. So I'm going to turn this up. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a closer look and thank God for lighting on this camera because uh, I don't have the best of lighting and I'm looking into purchasing a, 
a big old light box, in which case I'll probably put the, the setup in that. But anyway, moving on ahead, uh, here you have some really great detail, very reminiscent of his G1 character design as well as his G1 uh, uh, toy design. Uh, very, very nice, tight, tight turn of the head. So he doesn't do a whole lot of looking up or down, but you'll see that he'll turn left and right. It's like a little black mark there. Okay, so there's a little bit of a scuff there, but you know what? I'll chalk it up as something blew up in Little Jack's face, literally. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and twist from here. Boom, that's going to go up. Now this is going to go up on his chest, but first things first, and there goes that arm. <laughs> Let me give him a moment to, oh, you know what, I'll just do the review without it. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and split the legs apart here. And we're going to go ahead and, up. everything's literally falling apart here. I just got this figure, opened it up, and this is happening. So. One of the things about this is whenever something like this, it's either it's just shaved way too much around the ends, um, a smidgen of, of nail polish remover, and about maybe a good 10 to 15 minutes drying time should tighten that up. So I'm not going to worry about that right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Where was I? Oh, yeah. We we're lifting this leg up. I'm going to go ahead and push that in. I'm gonna do the same over here and then this window is going to turn down and then snap in and then these feet are supposed to go down like so like that all right now this piece here is going to go up and it's going to connect boom like so now, this is the thing why the add-on kits were made. Oh, as a matter of fact, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and for right now, let's just snap that back on there. So, uh, how with it? Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, as I was saying, these are the wings. And, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and tap this muscle launcher. And it's got a tab right here. And boom, there you go. Or you can use it as a weapon. Now, most of the time, it's very rare we actually ever see Will Jack outside. So, as you can tell, he does have some basic rotation. You have to, uh, he does do 360. Of course, you have to twist the arm to lead out like so to avoid hitting these back wings or the uh, spoilers. Uh, he does have bicep rotation, but on, oh yeah, it does, well, only up to a certain point because it will hit this back piece right here. Uh, he does have wrist, uh, wrist rotation, which is full 360. does have a waist rotation. Can do the full splits. Yep, he can do the full splits. Um can kick about 90 degrees he can kick back almost 90 degrees uh, he's got a single knee joint which goes about 90 degrees and he does have an ankle rocker for those wide poses so um, 
So let me go ahead and do a side by side comparison of his, uh, of not just of his series mates, but also of his other, you know, Will Jack mode. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, and there they are side by side. And uh, of course, you know, Prime Will Jack's like, what happened, buddy? Don't tell me a con got the drop on you, did he? I'll oh, just point in the right direction. I'll just take care of him. Okay, that's my best Will Jack, uh, Prime Will Jack joke. So, anyway, yeah, so moving on. So, um, as you can tell, they kind of scale together almost eye to eye. Um, you know, Prime Will Jack's just a little bit taller, but not by much. Uh, here we have, and I'm going to go ahead and pull him out. And we're going to have Cliff Jumper, who is probably wondering what happened. Did a Decepticon boot you in your turbocharger, or did one of your weapons blow up again? And of course. Just for a little bit more taller size comparison, I'll bring out Ultra Magnus. And as a matter of fact, let me change the camera on so we'll have uh, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more height scale. Okay, so we have a little bit of a height comparison there between Magnus and uh, Wojak, and. Um, so you can tell how well they scale. Um, I, I like the figure. The only drawbacks are the issues that you all just saw. And I think I have seen other other reviewers have that same issue uh, with uh, the, uh, the windows that basically fold up into the legs. Uh, in addition, I don't know if anyone had the issue of an arm falling off. I'm just grateful that uh, I'm right now the nail polish is drying around the the mushroom peg for his arm and around the hole for the uh, uh, for the uh, the remainder of the windshield. So those will be snapped on there. Uh, but um, I would say on a scale, I mean, it's a great figure. I like it. It's very very reminiscent of the OG one. Uh, more articulated than the OG one. Uh, doesn't have those gorilla arms going on there uh, So I like it. I can't wait to get the uh, the add-on kit set up and Just you know see how he looks with it uh, on a scale of 1 through 10 uh, I want to go ahead and give it between Well, no no in-betweens. I'm gonna give it a 7. It's a great figure overall what not points off is the aforementioned arm popping off and the window popping off. Uh, it's got great transformability, great poseability. Uh, play factor is going to be very, very cool. Uh, so, would I recommend this figure? Yes. But be forewarned that, that if the... I have seen a couple of other videos where the windows pop off uh, and whatnot and as you just saw the arm has popped off it's not broken or anything it's just that it's not staying on there uh, that's how come I'm taking you know precautions like this so uh, hopefully that will fix the issue uh, so but uh, other than that um, that is about it but yeah I'm gonna give it a 7 in terms of the score so so, have you picked up this figure yourselves? Are you having the same issue? If not, uh, it's probably just a limited quantity that just slipped through the, the QC, uh, you know, people. But, um, you know, tell me your thoughts, your feelings, um, you know, you know what uh, you thought of this figure. Uh, any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Like, share, 
and subscribe to this channel every subscription any anytime you subscribe to the channel will help me out tremendously and if you want to see more of my videos or some of my past videos ring the notification bell so you can go ahead and get updated on any new videos that I put up um, at this point in time I've got nothing more to say concerning this figure like I said it's a great figure it's not without its flaws I like it um, you know just those minor things that should fix the issue uh, other than that this is feet this is a uh, this is Phoenix Draconis, and here we have Earthrise, Fall Cybertron Trilogies, Wheeljack, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Stand by for part two of this review. Peace.